Behind me is my entire box. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color collection. I'm gonna take you guys through it and I'm gonna be including one of the rarest game, uh, yes, I was like Game Gear, Game Boy games in the world. Let's roll the intro. Okay, bit of story time. You'll notice that this is unboxed. I've left my unboxed games. They're kind of like at the back of a shelf and they're quite inaccessible to me right now. Um, so this doesn't go in my generic box of Game Boy games. This, and I'll show you, I'll take it out of its case. This stays in a very special place in the game room. This is Spud's Adventure. And I'll kind of give you guys a little close up of that. Now this, was an interesting game. It was a very interesting find. Um, it was actually one of my viewers years ago that alerted me to the rarity of this game. And it came in one of those, here's a box of retro games for 150 quid, take it or leave it. And at the time I purchased it, unbeknown to me, acquiring one of the most sort, well, rarest, expensive Game Boy released games ever no idea why well actually it didn't sell that well and it was producing very low numbers so there's not a lot of spuds adventure knocking around now if you have a boxed copy of this it can go for up to three thousand us dollars um on box you're probably looking at between five and a thousand five hundred and a thousand um and it is going absolutely nowhere this will stay in my gorgeous collection that i do intend to continue to cultivate as we march forward throughout 2021 and i thought i would start with a banger first and show you guys just how cool it is to have this in the collection if you want gameplay in any of these i'm not going to show it it's not really that kind of episode where i'm going to be cutting away to gameplay so i don't want you guys to watch this episode with any false expectations or anything like that but this sits in a special place in the game room and I'm going to very carefully pop it back there. Now, what I will be doing is showing you every single um, piece here in the collection. I've sorted out some of my favorites and some cream of the crops. And as always, if you guys have got any recommendations, uh, good ideas on where to pick up Game Boy, Game Boy Color or GBA games, please let us all know, not just me, in the comment section. So we're going to start here. Um, very battered box of Pikachu Yellow Edition. Um, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do close ups on camera anyway. The lighting might not be great on close ups. And and as you guys can see, this is very damaged. Um, it does include the game, but unfortunately no manual. And that's why I got a pretty good deal on this because the box is damaged and unfortunately the manual is missing but i don't mind that because it's something that i can replace in the future or if i pick up a better copy of this i will then kind of trade this or resell it to one of you guys over you know on my kind of audience so it's a classic isn't it it's the first what kind of cultural impact this had on gamers and society in general it was absolutely phenomenal i remember at the time i was um i was about 16 maybe 17 and i was doing a lot of kind of like babysitting at the time and a couple of the kids that had game boys at the time were really playing the hell out of this so i have fond memories of kind of learning about pokemon through those channels when i was growing up but now as an adult I absolutely adore it so much more. I'm a big Pokemon Go kind of girl as well. So um, what I'm gonna do is all the cream of the crop stuff I'm just gonna put down here because I'm gonna film all this. Um, we also have Pokemon Ruby version. Uh, this is boxed complete as well. This is a really nice copy. Um, again, this is a collection video. This is not about cutting away to gameplay. Really decent copy of Pokemon Ruby. Um, if I can show you guys inside, I will. I'm always trying to be very, very careful. Um, 
and getting all of this stuff out. Obviously we have the trainer's guide, which isn't, I would say it's about a six out of 10 in condition. Um, and then obviously uh, the Nintendo VIP 24 seven card, which actually has a Game Boy SP on the back. And then obviously we got a nice little um, Pokemon pinball advertisement poster with a little bit of stuff on the back. I miss this stuff, we always say it, and I will give props to Nintendo for always N64, SNES, Game Boy, you name it, their first party games always had cool stuff in like this. Oh, and there's the kind of warranty card in here as well. You don't need to see the warranty card. It's kind of boring, really, warranty cards. But if you're a collector like me, and a player, um, so cool to have, so cool to have. Um, let me know as well, what is your favorite Pokemon game in the comment section below? Um, we'll kind of continue with the Pokemon theme before we kind of get down to some of these and then I'll kind of do, we got, we got, we got loads of cool stuff. I've actually got some unboxed games that I, like doubles that I do need to kind of sell forward. Uh, so we've got Sapphire here. Um, again, beautiful addition on the GBA. Let's take this out. This feels, I haven't opened this for quite some time. It's missing insert. Um, you guys can see in there anyway, I don't need to. Can you just see missing insert in the cartridge is rattling around itself. Um, but the manuals also go for about 40 quid. Pokemon manuals go for an absolute fortune. And how gorgeous does that sapphire look? I will just bring that right into the camera. It looks absolutely stunning. I mean, oh, it just looks, it looks even better in the light. Hold your, your Pokemon, your GBA games to the light translucent um so a little bit of a collector's mission for me here uh, to kind of complete this by obviously kind of getting the inlays etc etc and it just gives me um more things to focus on i think with my retro game collection is just to really complete these especially these pokemon and kind of expensive titles uh, we'll chuck that down there we won't chuck it we'll place it carefully um i'm just saying i have i've got loads more um, I'm trying to find, ah, here we go, more Pokemon, <laughs> more Pokemon. Uh, we've got Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, which I believe was a spin-off. Says on the back, introducing the newest Pokemon, you. Um, oh, I just love Charmander. You might be able to see Charmander. In fact, you'll see Charmander right here. I love this guy. Mwah. He's a babe, but not as much of a babe as my Pikachu, which I have multiple Pikachus sat on the top of my arcade cabinet there. Let's take a look at this, shall we? What do we have in here? We have, oh wow, no way, I've never noticed that. The Club Nintendo points aren't even redeemed. Check that. You can see the scratch off silver strip there that hasn't been redeemed. And there is a poster advertising the way. That is wicked. That is absolutely wicked. We've got a DS Lite stuff there. Um, love the fact that that still has the Club Nintendo points. We have the, um, Oh, we have the instruction manual as well. That didn't come out. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, see this kind of barcode that's plastered across it here? Nightmare. I think I picked this up from CEX many years ago when it was a <laughs> hell of a lot cheaper than what it is now. So super, super cool. The game is in there. I also have an unboxed copy. We're actually in the drawers down here. Unboxed copy on the Game Boy of Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. So I have all of the base and um, G, uh, GB Pokemons as far as collecting goals go. Um, okay, now obviously Mario was a huge, huge icon on the Game Boy. Still is a huge, huge icon across all Nintendo consoles, be it handhelds or Switch. Uh, we got some nice Mario and Yoshi here on the Game Boy, which is like a bit of a puzzle game. I love on the back it says, it's raining Goombas. Now, just raining Goombas. Imagine if Goombas were just falling out of the sky. Like, like honestly, my game, I get so carried away with stuff like this. Like, I read the, the backs of these and my mind is just like, yeah, it's so weird. Um, again, we've got the uh, the instruction manual and I just absolutely love, let's let's really feel the nostalgia in this episode. Let's really, let's really crawl through it. Um, we got a nice, I'm hoping it's not translucent, so I'm gonna kind of hold it quite far away. Wicked games on Game Boy. We've got some Donkey Kong uh, Land, which I have. Tetris 2, Link's Awakening. So many cool things here. And then as well on the back, my beloved Super Nintendo, uh, Uni Rally, um, I've just Metroid, you <laughs> and the smell as well. I just feel so much excitement and enthusiasm. I just love it and I can't wait 
to continue through this year getting out there to the retro game stores, you know, finding bargains, hopefully coming across cool things at car boots and charity shops. Um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, another classic one. This is from the Classics Collection, actually. Super Mario Land. Um, really awesome little Game Boy game. Again, in very nice condition, this copy. Really pretty in terms of how well it's been looked after. Missing Manual, Man, Manbowl. Uh, <laughs> missing manual but has the um the warranty oh oh doesn't this path. missing warranty card get your words out girl but has the manual just look how old school that manual is it's just i just love it i just love i'm so proud to be a part of this retro gaming community it just fills me with pride honestly it really does um put that there now this is a, a beautiful game. I'm going to take it out of the slip case because otherwise you're going to get horrible glare on the camera. We'll just chuck it there. Uh, I've got some four swords. Now this is a GBA title and you can play up to four players on this. It's also released on the GameCube as well. Both Game Boy and GameCube hold their value. I mean, it's a Nintendo first party title. They all hold their value. This one is packed, nice manual, quite a bit of weight to it, love that. Um, and then we've got the warranty information there for the GBA. Let's pop this out. And then obviously, even in the cellophane packaging, guys, even in the cellophane packaging, you don't see this round un unboxed or boxed very often. And I find that really odd because I, you know, you, you do see, even in CEX, you do tend to see a lot of Game Boy first party games, um, which, which yeah, baffles me that this isn't a part of that. It tends to be just a lot of Mario's. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. How could I miss this beaut? Let's take a look at the poster. Coming soon. Check it. Sapphire and Ruby. Oh, GBASP. It's so good. And then we got a really nice kind of link. Um, a register, add, add, add your stars to VIP account. So just a little bit of a registration document there. Slash poster, slash advertisement. Absolutely buzzing me like, oh my God, this is wicked. I'm loving this. I don't do a lot of collection videos. When I do, it just reminds me how amazing all this stuff is. And I really think it's just so, so cool. But if you've got any tips at this stage on things that I should be looking out for, um, I know I'm going to get a lot of Pokemon recommendations. And again, I do have all the major Pokemon games. A lot of them are unboxed. I think actually, just for continuity, I'll just quickly show you. I have like a leaf green here and another copy of Ruby there. You know, there are other Game Boy games littered around the room. Um, but my main bulk of them, I have this like huge box like this. All of my cartridges have been organized in the box and they're behind a shelf again, inaccessible. Um, as we know, space and storage are always issues here. Okay, another classic here for your face has got some Simpsons Road Rage. Um, so it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto with a Simpsons skin. I think this came from a car boot a number of years ago, actually. I believe this came from Tansley, cool little manual. Um, and then obviously we got the game that's actually fallen out. If I can get it, you can hear the game rattling around. You can hear the game rattling around. It's stuffed down the bottom there. That's gonna be really annoying to take out on camera, but it is in there. Um, again, a nice classic game on the PS2 as well. One that is quite sought after. Simpsons Road Rage is sought after, and I believe there's a huge portion of the community that are asking for a HD remake of Simpsons Road Rage. Are you one of those people that would like to see a HD remake of Simpsons Road Rage? Shout rage at me in the comment section. Um, so there's absolutely tons and tons more. I'm gonna show you the rest of this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got more goodness here. How could I forget all of these? Like, my, the, this is my classic portion here. Before we cut away, do excuse me, we've got some more classics here. Now, if you're after a staple on the Game Boy, Mario Kart Super Circuit has to be it. It just has to be. It 
hasn't aged overly well, I'm not gonna kind of BS you all, but it is up there in one of the funnest Mario Kart games of all time. This is probably in my top three. The Super Nintendo version is my favorite or Super Mario Kart, followed closely by, I think, Double Dash of late, and then this. So absolute corker again. Been in a Sentinel case, lovely little condition. You can see, really, really nice. There's no scratches. Um, I love playing this. I love going back to this. Let's have a look at the poster. Let's have a look at it. Right, I'm gone. Whoa. Oh yes, look at it. A GBA poster. Now these are quite prevalent. This is advertising the link cable. Now I do have a link cable somewhere. Look at that, Game Boy Advance, look at it. F-Zero, which I've actually got right there. Super Mario Advance, Castlevania, Rayman, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Oh, I'm so glad I did this episode because I'm even taking myself down a trip on memory lane. Um, so that's kind of carefully stowed away back in there. I need to put it away properly in a minute. And then obviously we've got some Final Fight 1. If you need a side-scrolling beat-em-up on the Game Boy Advance, snag yourselves a copy of this. Weirdly, it's going up in price. It's creeping up in price, which is quite scary um, because it is actually, in my opinion or my experience, it's a lot cheaper to buy Final Fight on the Super Nintendo. But if you do want a boxed complete copy of this, you're probably looking at paying 40, 50 quid upwards. Um, I fell lucky on this and I think I picked it up for 20 pounds about four or five years ago. So yeah, not too bad. And it, it it's pretty much mimics the, the same port from the Super Nintendo. Um, and then some more Zelda classics, Legend of Zelda, the NES classic, and the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. But I'm going to cut to this now. I'm going to show you the rest of my boxed Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Pretty gnarly. In conclusion, the cream of the crop being Spud's Adventure, one of the rarest games on planet Earth for the Game Boy, goes for a pretty penny. It's going nowhere. Um, as none of my collection, I would never sell anything in my collection unless it's doubles, because I do get asked that all the time, and the answer is a flat out no. <laughs> so if you want more collection videos, I have a very hefty GameCube um, collection that I could dive into, or maybe you want to see the Mega Drive collection or an updated Super Nintendo collection. You decide what collection you'd like to see and leave a comment below. But for now, guys, subscribe, leave a like. If you're kind enough, hit that uh, join link. Or if you want to cop yourself some Team 24 merch, check it out. There's a shelf underneath the video, but for now I'll leave it there. My name is Gemma, have a good one. See you soon.